Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. I know you guys have not seen me on camera in a while, but if you don't know, if you're not on my Instagram, I'm in the ATL, shout it. Welcome to Atlanta where the play is played. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Anyways, it feels so good to be back here in Atlanta. Shout out to Kenya and the other waitresses I met at the Busy Bee when we stopped up there to go get some food, you know what I'm saying? Had a really good time. So I'm glad to be back on camera. I'm loving my Airbnb, bitch, okay? I like big Airbnbs. I bring a lot of stuff with me, equipment. So I like to utilize all the damn space, okay? I'm here for all this shit. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Okay, y'all have been hitting me up. Y'all have been wanting me to get involved in this YouTube drama with the beauty community. Y'all have been saying y'all really liked how I handled the whole Tati Westbrook, James Charles situation. And how I need to start doing more videos on the beauty community. Because why I keep that shit 100, bitch. That's why, okay? I don't know these people like that. I'm not trying to be nobody's ace boom coom. Bitch, I come here to spill tea and keep it damn moving, okay? So if you guys do not know, if you're living under a rock, you just don't care. And you're just here to see your girl. T. Okay, so there's all this drama going on in the beauty community with this huge makeup guru. Her name is Jaclyn Hill. She has like 6 million subscribers. She's been in the game for years. She's been doing her thing, but she's also very problematic because Jaclyn Hill is a known liar, okay? She lies about a lot of shit, and then when she gets caught out on her shit, all of a sudden it's, oh, oh, what was me? Oh, anxiety? Oh, I don't feel too good. Bitch, stop. This video's taking so long because I've been waiting for this bitch to respond to all this drama, okay? So if you guys don't know, Jacqueline released her line of lipsticks about two weeks ago. And so, you know, she has a big fan base. A lot of people really, you know, they, they fuck with her for the most part. So folks ran to go buy her lipsticks. Her shit sold out literally within like 24 hours or some shit, okay? And what was so funny is that a few people were noting glitches. That when they went to just buy one lipstick for $18... All of a sudden, they couldn't buy the one lipstick. It'd be in their cart. Then when they go to pay for it, it'd be gone. But one thing that did not glitch was if you wanted to buy all 20 lipsticks for 300 and something dollars. So that shit didn't glitch. But the one lipstick, it glitched for a lot of people. But that wasn't even the controversy, okay? So the controversy comes in is when people start getting these lipsticks, there's all types of disgusting air bubbles. People are saying that there's mold. There's all these little gel beads. I'm gonna be showing you guys pictures as I'm talking. Just all types of disgusting stuff that makes your skin just crawl, okay? And y'all know, honey, I'm all about my lipsticks. I love a good lip, bitch, okay? So I was like really excited for her nudes to drop and to see, you know, what people's reactions were gonna be because she's been dropping her lipstick line literally for the past two years, okay? And so she finally went ahead with it. And I'm taking notes because if you guys don't know, some of y'all know, because some of y'all fuck with y'all heavy outside of YouTube, but a lot of y'all don't know, I'm working on my own little um, beauty product line. So I'm having skincare products and also, you know, uh, makeup. Mainly lip glosses and lipsticks because that's what I fuck with, okay? So I've been working really hard. This has been literally like almost a five-month process and we're almost there. The beauty products have just came in. Um, I had the labelers putting the labels on. It's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work to start your own line, especially if you don't have investors or somebody like Marlena who's willing to believe in you and literally, you know what I'm saying, invest a million dollars into you only for you to shit on Marlena. But we'll get back to that, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that in a little bit. So anyways, she drops her line. There's all these complaints. People are having serious issues, okay? And she's talking to people crazy who are confronting her on social media like, hey, Jacqueline, you know, am I supposed to have these weird plastic beads and these lipsticks? Hey, Jacqueline, what is all these scratch marks? She's accusing folks of having dry, crusty ass lips. She's telling bitches to go exfoliate. I mean, being nasty as if these people, you know what I'm saying, stole her product from Target. Like, no, in order for them to get your product, Jacqueline Hill, they had to go onto your website, use their hard earned money to buy your product. So to come back kind of snippy and snarky, I wasn't feeling that shit, okay? So, you know, more people started talking, even bigger influencers, bigger beauty gurus, because y'all know that beauty community, y'all call yourselves the beauty community, but I've seen more ugly shit 
in that community than beautiful shit. And that's just real talk. A lot of y'all are pretty as fuck, pretty faces, nice bodies, pretty titties, all that shit. But y'all's attitudes, the way y'all treat y'all's fans, a lot of y'all are just really ugly people in the inside, okay? So they call themselves the beauty community. And so a lot of times they'll see dirt happening. They'll see other beauty influencers doing shit. But a lot of times they kind of sit idly by, okay? They don't want to get involved and they don't want to blast each other and all that shit. Well, people like Patrick Starr, you know, he basically caught her out on Snapchat with showing, you know, his lipsticks looked a mess. Um, there's another lady, uh, Christy, I forget her name, something fancy. But I loved her video. That bitch went and bought a damn microscope, okay? And you could see all these amoebas and, you know, shit floating around. She was not playing. Her pictures were some of the best on social media. And she has a pretty big following. So there's no confusion here. See, I had a couple people questioning me on Twitter when I posted a photo of this, being like, I don't believe that's real. I think somebody put those hairs there. Can you please ask me what kind of, um, what kind of procedure that would have been to embed tiny little hairs into the tip of a lipstick? Ain't nobody got time for that. I've got time to- And she was calling the shit out. Rich Lux has been calling her out. So it's been a lot of influencers calling her out, but a lot of the big, big ones, you know, in the millions, they kind of wanted to stay out of it. Alyssa also recently called her out. She posted um, a statement because at this point, you know, Jacqueline was almost looking at it like, oh, it's just drama. It's people hating on me. And no, it's not people hating on you. At this point, this is a health risk to the public. And people started calling the FDA on her. Honey, when I, when I tell you I've been keeping up with this shit, I've been keeping up with this shit, okay? Me and Malibu even had a big-ass discussion on all this fuck shit, okay? Because we couldn't believe what the hell was going on. I'm like, bitch, are you watching this? He's like, bitch, are you watching this? I'm like, yes, okay? So we've been talking about this shit, just watching everything unfold. But I didn't want to make a video until, you know, the queen, Jacqueline Hill, finally decided to speak out. And as of yesterday, she spoke out and people started hitting me up like tea she finally made a video she finally addressed it so i got a chance to watch it and bitch i was not impressed okay i was not impressed by her explanation at all i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a small snippet of what she had to say check this out and i'll be back with the tea okay but they are not expired. Jacqueline Hill is speaking out on the accusations she's selling expired lipsticks. What the heck? Ah! In a 14 minute long video she shared to her nearly 6 million subscribers on YouTube Wednesday, the 28 year old beauty vlogger addressed the situation head on. Is the accusations that my lipsticks are expired, moldy, or hazardous in any way, shape, or form? Every single ingredient in my lipstick is new and it is FDA approved. The girl came with receipts, literal receipts, sharing multiple screenshots from her manufacturers with date stamps that seemingly indicate the line went into mass production the same month as the launch of the lipsticks. A spokesperson from Jaclyn Cosmetics also released a statement to ET on Tuesday, saying less than half of 1% of the orders were impacted by compromised product. I want to make this right for my customers. This is my first launch and it's very embarrassing. Jaclyn launched the brand on May 30th and within hours, the lipsticks completely sold out. This is my nude lipstick collection. We are launching with 20 shades of all nude. Not long after the launch, fans and fellow beauty vloggers alleged that some of the lip products they received contained plastic balls and holes. Oh my God. What these black dots are, are actually oxygen bubbles, and they are being lifted to the surface when my lipstick bullet is being cooled off, when it's going from a hot temperature, fresh out of the vat, and it's gonna go into my actual component and just be cooled down so that the component cap can be put on top in that process. Sometimes those oxygen bubbles don't make it all the way through, and you'll see little itty bitty, almost like black-like holes. It's not actually like, black holes. Again, it's not mold. It is oxygen and it is 100% safe. And the unknown fibers? It's almost like, like the hair and the plastic is inside of the lipstick. Well, Jacqueline addressed that too. My lab, instead of using a standard glove that they would use in the lab, 
they decided to use white cotton gloves. They're like fluffy white gloves because they didn't want the standard gloves to put any smears on this component to in any way have any sort of prints on it. So they want to do a white fluffy glove. First, when I heard this. Honey. All right, so y'all just saw a snippet of Jaclyn Hill's explanation. Mm, something ain't cleaning the buttermilk, bitch. Her story is kind of all over the place. But first, let me start with the good, okay? First, I'm going to give her her props. She was there bare face, no makeup, because she wanted you guys to see her soul. She wanted you guys to take her seriously. All she had on was a thin hoodie, no bling bling, no high end, you know, outfits. Just a small, tattered hoodie with no makeup on, okay? So she didn't go the whole tears route because you know big YouTubers, they love to cry, bitch. <laughs> I didn't know it was racist. You know, they always do that shit. You know, but this time she didn't cry, so kudos to you, bitch, for not crying. You know, she, she spoke very self-assured, but I still, you know, I still call a lot of bullshit. One thing I find very funny, one thing that disturbed me, and I also watched Marlena's video. She interviewed a chemist yesterday, and um, Jacqueline said she made all of these lipsticks, okay, in a month. We indicate the line went into mass production the same month as the launch of the lipsticks. Which to me makes no sense. The thing that really bothers me with this situation with Jacqueline Hill is that one, you're a millionaire. So you have the money to put out a good product. Whereas a lot of us who are trying to start our own businesses and get into the makeup game and stuff like that, we don't have a million dollars. We don't have big investors. We can only put in a few thousand at a time. So we're lucky if we're able to buy, you know, maybe a thousand lipsticks, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. Whereas in her old emails and her old back and forth that people have been posting online, at some point in time, she was able to get 300,000 lipsticks that was supposed to come out back in 2017. 300,000 lipsticks is nothing cheap. That's nothing to sneeze at. You're talking about a million dollars worth of investment that supposedly didn't come out, right? She's saying that she put all this together in a month. I don't buy that. I don't buy that, sis. Why? Because I'm doing the same thing, and right now we are into month four. And Marlena even confirmed that when you're making lipsticks from scratch and colors and coming up with names and, and formulas and stuff like that, it will take you anywhere from three to nine months to get a good product. The line went into mass production the same month as the launch of the lipsticks. <laughs> How long does production take? Generally speaking, production can be itself anywhere from three to nine months. It takes, um, it, it can depend on how long does it take to procure the raw materials. So raw materials, you know, your, your mica, your, your oils, your binders, they're all going to come from kind of different spots and the lab has to, once you place a PO. So if I know that I'm ordering a thing of lipsticks, I put my 50% down, the lab then knows, okay, we're moving forward with this project. We're going to procure our RAWs. Procuring RAWs, because they come from all over, generally take at least eight weeks for that process alone. It depends on how the lab is booked out. If there's other clients that are coming first and you have to wait until a spot is open for, for production, um, that could affect the timeline as, as well. But usually production itself, anywhere three to six months is common. I've seen up to nine months as well. Kate, the line went into mass production the same month as the launch of the lipsticks. I've never heard of somebody making hundreds of thousands of lipsticks within a month unless the formulas were already there, already mixed. So I'm thinking Morphe might be somewhere in the background with their hand in the fucking pot, okay? Because I don't see how she was doing this from scratch, how she was able to make that many different colors, different shades within a month. It just does not sound right because I know what the hell I've been going through, you know what I'm saying, in my own process to get my stuff out, okay? It's a lot of work. It does not happen overnight. So when she said that she made these in a month, that right there raised my antennas because like I said, I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, well, bitch, how? In a month? To me, you're rushing, you know what I'm saying? It should be about quality and you have the money where you don't have to rush. Okay, if she wanted to wait another six months, she could. 
She's already rich. She really could have put her all into this product and to watch her take shortcuts. And then don't even get me started on the fact that her lipsticks, the whole idea, the packaging, she stole from some Instagram creator who had made, you know, he made a picture of what he wanted Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks to be like. She literally stole his idea. Didn't credit him, didn't pay him or nothing. So, you know, there's a lot of shady shit that goes on with Jaclyn, but you know, I digress, bitch, okay? So on top of that, she said that her lipsticks are not moldy. Um, you know, the reason why these plastic pellets are coming to the top is because the formula wasn't mixed well. Why? Why? You had all the time in the world. You have a huge built-in fan base. There was no reason for her to rush this. Everything should have been mixed properly. You know, I understand things can happen. You know, things can go bad. Sometimes things are beyond our control. I understand that. But when literally the majority of the people get a bad product, that's on you, sis. That's on you. It's not like this was, you know, only 10 angry people. Literally, everybody who bought her lipstick said the same thing. Poor Naima Tang. I watched her damn video, and she's sitting here putting on the lipstick. And I'm like, no, don't do it, sis. Don't do it, you know what I mean? But she wants to be a good sport. And, you know, I was ready to see what the shades looked like on her skin tone. And it's just like even her, and that was just a raw, you know, natural um, review. And if she's reviewing, she's like, oh, there's something sharp there. Oh, it's kind of gritty. You know, so it's like everyone who tried her product was, you know, going through the same thing. So this is not an isolated incident. I'm not believing the whole, it's only 1% of the people. No, probably more like 75%, bitch, okay? You know, so I'm not buying that. Does that mean that she should be, you know, you know, persecuted and hung at the stake? No. At the end of the day, she'll be fine, bitch. Her fans aren't going anywhere. They may unsubscribe, but they'll eventually come back. And the crazy thing is she'll release some new lipsticks and y'all will go out and buy. And that's the one thing I will say, you you know, when it comes to like the white beauty community, y'all go hard for y'all's face, honey. Y'all, they can be involved in all types of fuck shit, scandals, and y'all will, you know, y'all might cuss them out for a while, but then y'all go back to riding with them. Just like with Tati Westbrook. She was involved in all types of fuck shit less than a month ago, but guess what? She's still sitting at 10 million subscribers. She's still doing videos. People are still fucking with her. Same things with James Charles. You know, so this entire situation is crazy, but I'm not buying what she's trying to say. I think she tried to rush it. I do believe that she was using those old products from the initial Morphe batch. I definitely believe that. I don't feel like, you know, she just happened to make all these new colors, all these new batches in a month's time. I'm not buying that, especially for the amount of lipsticks that she had to create for her huge fan base. I'm not buying that at all. I think that she tried to take shortcuts. She tried to take the cheap route, which to me says a lot about her character because she's rich. If you can literally take your people on a closet tour and your closet is probably the size of this whole Airbnb, then don't dare be cheap when it comes to people's health. When it comes to your fans, especially little young girls wanting to support you. Don't take shortcuts when it comes to your makeup and the things that you're launching for people. But then when it comes to you, you can be as extravagant as you want to. But then when it comes to, you, uh, to the people who are supporting you, you're not putting that same energy and that same precaution and that same care into something that you're giving to the public. So for that, I don't respect her. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect that because she's not broke. She's not a struggling YouTuber. She's very, very self-made, okay? She's made tons of money doing huge collabs and everything else. So much so that she shitted on her own friend Marlena when Marlena from Makeup Geek literally invested a million dollars into her own collab with Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill refused to sign the contract. And then we all know history, okay? So, so much so that somebody was willing to invest that type of money into somebody that she only knew from YouTube. You know, and a lot of black beauty gurus, they don't get those same treatments. They don't get that same help. You know, there's a black woman right now who has her own lipstick line. It's called the Lip Bar. And she's just now able to get an investor. And the guy from Shea Moisture ended up investing in her lipstick line. And she's been doing makeup now for years. You know what I'm saying? And she's just now getting an investor after like, what, 10 years? You know, whereas Jaclyn Hill literally just came on YouTube, started making videos, people liked her. And Marlena was willing to invest in her like right away. A million dollars. And all that product literally just sat on the shelf and they had to throw it away. A million dollars down the drain. If I was Marlena, you're a good one. She's like, I don't involve myself in drama. If somebody makes me lose a million dollars, I'm coming to see you, bitch. Point blank, period. So Marlena's a good one, okay? She's a good one because Jacqueline out of the girl, you looking, you shitting on Marlena and not lovely tea, bitch, okay?
anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Honey, this entire situation is a hot, funky mess, but I'm not surprised. Jacqueline Hill always has some type of issue, some type of drama when it comes to her launch days. You know, hopefully she will fix the issue. Hopefully, you know, she'll be able to get back on track. Will you guys be buying her lipsticks if she decides to come out with a new batch? Will you guys be supporting it? And honestly, I hope y'all support me the same way people ran out to support Jacqueline, the same way y'all be running out to go support Jeffree Star. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all support me the same way my shit drops, okay? I'm watching. I'm watching. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs>